Hey there, I often get asked this question. I'm just starting out doing videos and would like to upgrade my equipment a little bit to start my vlog channel. So what should I get? In this case, there are many scenarios, so I summarized them down into three categories. Category number one, if your budget doesn't reach 1,500 US dollars, then I wouldn't recommend to purchase any gear yet because it's not worth it to purchase here a little bit, there a little bit and get a collective because if you do some a little bit more important work, you will see that there's always something missing that you don't have. In this case, I would still rather stick to the fundamentals, make sure your basics are perfect. You increase your filmmaking skills by practicing a lot with your phone, just making sure you get the framing right, the pace, and actually the shooting is just 20%. 80% of the time you'll be spending on to editing this video and making it right. And meanwhile, then also save up for the budget for the category two. Category two, you have saved up at around 1,500 US dollar budget. So this is very good because now you can actually purchase a complete package. Often I see people ah, immediately taking this money and buying a very expensive camera, but then they will notice that a lot of other pieces are missing, which are also essential for the shoot. So in this case, I'm giving you guys a very solid all-rounder solution that will cover a lot of parts. So we'll start with the camera. Camera, I will recommend the Sony A6400, which is a camera that can shoot 4K and also has pretty good autofocus then it also has flip out screen so you can see yourself and according to it I would also give the 16 to 50 millimeter lens so this lens will cover most of the focal lengths you'll need you can get some good wide shots and also tight shots to make your whole visual storytelling more interesting and the cool thing is if you're upgrading your gear over time where you're going to be also having a camera like a Sony A7 Mark III, then this Sony camera is actually a pretty good B-cam too because it has also the same S-Log profiles and also is also in the same Sony ecosystem. Then very important ND filters. If you want to go outside on a sunny day, have your background blurry, your foreground subject sharp and get it more like a cinematic looking shot, then definitely ND filters are the way to go. And with this you can then get your exposure proper and also to make sure that your current setup will actually stand out in contrast to your previous setup shot with the phone. Before purchasing ND filters, it's very important you get the step-up rings because you don't want to make the mistake to buy the smallest ND filter, put it on your current lens, and then later when you upgrade your lens, realize that you have to get new ND filters because the lens diameters change. So in this case, getting a step-up ring from 40.5 mm to 82 mm is the best way to go. There won't be a straight conversion, so you will need two step-up rings to make it work. And then purchase a proper 82 mm ND filter and then get the variable ND filter. In this case, I would choose a more expensive, good quality one because if you get the cheaper ones, they usually have a color shift or they have vignetting on the sides, which is not good. Then of course, get an SD card if it doesn't come with one. Same thing goes also for a battery. At least two batteries will help a lot because then you can rotate them and charge one of those while you're using the other one to shoot. Lastly, very important, sound. So in this case, I would recommend the Rode Wireless Go Kit. Even if your visuals are the most stunning ones, but the sound is terrible, it will really make the audience very uncomfortable while watching it. This is very amazing for simple vlog setups, and also you can put it onto the camera body so you can use it like an onboard cam, which is really handy. That finishes up category two, and now we go for category three. If your budget is way higher than 1,500 US dollars, so at around maybe 3,000 or 4,000 US dollars, I would definitely go for the Sony A7 Mark III camera with the classic 3G master lens, 16 to 35, 24 to 70 and 50 to 100. So with these three lenses, you will have most of the parts covered and then add a gimbal to it and you should be pretty set. That's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you want to see more cool content like this, feel free to subscribe and stay notified. See you in the next one. 再见.